Hey dude, I'm going to, I'm going to do, uh, try to do an objective analysis of two frames from the Kennedy assassination. Um, as I mentioned in an email to you, I'm going to take the frame just prior to him getting shot fatally, and then that would be the moment before impact, and then the next frame, uh, the very frame that shows, the very first frame that shows the moment of impact. We're going to analyze those two frames. We're going to toss away everything else. Don't even look at it. And we're going to try to determine uh, the position of John F. Kennedy's head in terms of uh, what direction did it go in when he was initially hit with a bullet. So uh, I've taken this site that you have provided to me, has all of the single frames of the Kennedy assassination and I've determined that 312 and 313 are the two key frames out of the bunch. So I'm going to take 312, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to move it over here so we can see it. And you can't see it very well here so what I'm going to do is copy the frame, copy the image, and then I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to zoom in on it and I'm not moving the frame itself I'm just moving Photoshop so that we can get into view I'm going to zoom in on Photoshop. So if I reduce it down, there it is, and I'm just zooming in, and I'm out, now I'm going to move it and zoom in. Okay, so that's the frame. All right. And to make sure that people know that I'm doing this properly, here's the frame in layer one. We'll call this the before shot. There it is. And this is just like a layer cake. I'm going to take this bottom layer off because we don't need it. We're going to do this just like a layer cake. So the top layer is going to be the before. The bottom layer is going to be underneath it, which is the actual moment of impact. Okay, so now we need to go back and uh, to the website and retrieve that other uh, frame. So there's the website. And let's go backwards here. And we're looking for 313. And there's the headshot, a moment of impact. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to get rid of the website. Take that away. And now I'm going to go back into Photoshop. And I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, and this is after. All right, so now I'm going to zoom, zoom out a little bit, just so we can see uh, the two frames. Okay, before we analyze out the head. That's before. I'm going to turn it off now. Turn off the top layer and reveal the bottom layer. And that's afterwards. And we can see the little bit of a little bit of the movement uh, if we take this little line here. And we line it up with this girl here, right on top of her head, right here. And we'll see a little bit of movement. That's before, and that's afterwards. So you can see there's a little shift there. But even looking at this far away, you can see President Kennedy moving forward. Okay, now let's zoom in. And let's move this into place here.
Okay. Now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ruler again and we'll get rid of this one and we're going to pull one down from the top here. I don't know if you can see that very well but we see a blue line here okay and now I'm going to turn off uh, the before layer, the before frame. I'm going to turn off uh, layer or frame 312 and show 313. Okay, so 312, 313. 312, 313. If you notice, you look, let me put the hand here so we can see a bit bigger icon. Look at the hat of Jackie in this line right here. For the most part, it stays, you know, at least uh, a third or a half of it stays on that line. Very little difference. But here, I can see right in here, at this moment here, and this is not where the wound is opening up or where the part portion of the head is opening up, but I'm looking right here where there's, I can see green grass here, and I can see the top back part of his head. Let's zoom out. my opinion the head is going is is he his head is slightly his back is slightly turned towards her she's looking at him she's trying to uh, maybe uh, her attention is on maybe his neck wound or because his hands have been placed on his neck she wants to know you know what's going on here but his his nose or his eyes are kind of pointed towards Jackie's uh, nose. They're almost kind of at the at that angle. So his head is slightly to the left. His shoulders are slightly to the left, bent over. Now when he gets hit, we see this head is not positioned at towards Jackie. It's actually more straighter toward the car or toward the front of the car. So I think that's kind of interesting as well. It's almost as if somebody's just uh, grabbed his hair and pulled it forward. So that's just my simple little analysis. Um, try to keep this under 10 minutes here to try to explain. Um, uh, I think that if you get into more frames, uh, when they were showing um, some of the analysis of the witnesses, um, uh, they you know, some of the analysts they showed the the space between his shoulders and the seat, that kind of thing. But again, that's you know really once the body has basically started to figure out what has happened to it. The nervous system is reacting, and so you don't get a real true depiction of, of of true body movement. I think here you do. You can really kind of see that uh, his head is no longer in this position here. It's actually further downward now. Now it's kind of is right there. Maybe a little bit more. Let's try that again. Maybe it's a little bit further up. Right there. Let's zoom in a little again here. Let's 
too close. All right. Clearly in the zone between these two blue uh, uh, lines and totally out of that zone. Now it would be one thing to say, okay, if he was shot from the front, his head could be out of the zone going because he got hit from this angle. But that's not that's not the direction his head is going in. On impact, it's not going backwards. It's going forwards. We should see, if if anything, we should see more head go uh, uh, almost above these two lines. Well, in any event, I think you got my point. All right, man. Hope you enjoyed that analysis. At least that's my own homegrown analysis. It's been done before, maybe not in this exact way, but uh, I think it's uh, it's revealing.